Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Zach Kerstetter. I'm an Ableton Certified Trainer. And today I want to do a real quick tip about recording automation inside of Ableton Live. Uh, this is a really fantastic technique to add a little bit more of like an organic human feel to your automation, as opposed to just plugging into your mouse, which can oftentimes sound a little bit overly quantized. So before we dive into that, I do want to let you know if you're enjoying the content on the channel, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. Check out the Patreon, check out the Discord. It's all greatly appreciated. I also, in case you're not aware, stream uh, every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Come check out the streams and say hi. So, diving right into it, uh, we have a real basic set of notes here on our little wavetable. And what I want to do is I want to take my filter frequency here and I want to record the motion and movement of this moving up and down. I'm going to record something like that. And you can see just by hitting play and then moving it up and down, it doesn't record it. So in order to make this record, three things need to happen. Number one, the automation arm button needs to be turned on. So this guy right here. Number two, the track needs to be record armed. And number three, the session record button needs to be turned on. So if all three of those things are turned on, check out what happens. If I hit play, number one, we can see that the play button here is red, indicating that it's looking for some kind of input. And if I don't touch anything, it doesn't record anything, which is great. So if I turn that on, hit record, doesn't record anything. And as soon as I start moving this up and down, I'll wait till it loops. There's my recording of all my automation in there, and you can see it adds a bunch of breakpoints in here. If you want to clean this up a little bit, you don't want quite so many breakpoints. You could, for example, select an area and hit the delete key, and that will delete all the breakpoints and create a straight line from point A to point B. And then, of course, we can hit the option key or the alt key to add some curve to it if you want to kind of like smooth it out yourself or kind of tweak it a little bit. Uh, so that's how we can record this here. One thing that's really important to point out is that if I were to try the same thing again, but not have the session record turned on, check out what's going to happen. If I hit play here and the automation arm is turned on and the track record is turned on. If I move this, we can see that it temporarily overrides and deactivates that automation, right? So if you have something that's been automated, that's been recorded and you change the control, it temporarily deactivates it. So you can see it's grayed out, it's still here, it's still existing, it's not being recorded over, and now it's just sitting at whatever value I change when I move this up and down, all right? So in order to go back to the way it was, we can hit this orange arrow right here. This is your re-enable automation button. So if you click on that, it re-enables the automation and goes back to what the automation was. Like that. So if I want to actually record over this, once again, I can make sure automation arms turned on, session record is turned on, track uh, record is turned on. And now if I, again, don't touch anything, it's not going to do anything. But the second I start touching it, it's going to start overriding my previous automation. And if it loops around, it's going to keep recording over it. But if I let go, it stops recording. So you can do multiple takes of this. You can kind of like go over until you find the, the version that you like the best and then keep that and then boom, there's your automation built into it. And if there's like little mistakes or things in there, you can always like just click on them and manually delete them, move them around, edit them to your heart's content. So that's how you're going to be recording automation in the session view. And you can do this for multiple parameters at the same time. So if you like have multiple knobs mapped, you can control all of them at the same time, which is really fun. If we would like to switch over to the arrangement view, let's go over here. Uh, this is the exact same thing. We got our little basic drum beat. We got our wavetable right here. Uh, if I would like to start recording automation, it's going to be mostly the same process, but it's going to be a little bit different. So once again, we need to make sure our automation arm is turned on. We need to make sure that the track is record enabled. But this time, instead, we need to make sure that this record button is turned on instead of this one. This is the session record button. This is the arrangement record button. So if this is turned on and I hit play, uh, it'll record the automation, but something bad's going to happen. So we'll check, we'll check this out. So if I hit play here, 
you can see it's recording my automation, which is great, fantastic. However, you may be able to notice here that it is deleting my MIDI, which is not what we want. So I'm gonna Command Z to undo that. So if you have MIDI that's already on that track, because the track is record armed and then we're also hitting record here, it's overriding that MIDI. So in order to prevent that, if we hit this plus button right here, this is our MIDI overdub button. I made a whole separate video talking about MIDI overdub that I will link up in the corner uh, that'll explain what this does. But basically if this is turned on and I hit record, it's not going to override my MIDI that's already there. So now if I hit play, it'll play that MIDI and then allow me to record my automation on top of it. So let's try this out. However, you'll notice here that as it loops, it once again records over automation that's already there. And if I let go of it here, it just records a straight line. So you need to watch out for that. If you're recording in the session view, you can let go of the, the MIDI parameter and it stops recording. Here, it just keeps recording in a straight line. Uh, if this happens to you, you can just hit Command Z and that'll just undo that most recent part of your automation recording. Um, but that's basically it. We're pretty straightforward. Once you get used to it, uh, it's a really fun way to breathe a little bit of life into your automation. Um, and as you can see, you can get automation that is not quantized and you can move it around and customize it based off of whatever you want to be doing here. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Kind of a quick one this week. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching that. Uh, if you did, let me know in the comment section below. And hopefully I'll see you again in another video. Thanks for watching.